Hey viewers, welcome to another 3 Printed Thomas video. So in my previous video, I took a look at the 3 Printed Diesel 10. And I have to say that this is one of my favorite things I've ever printed. And this has to be the best Diesel 10 I've ever printed. Mainly because he's got an accurate claw. But anyways, this time we're going to be taking a look at 3, count them 3 characters. And it's none other than the trio themselves. Toby, Percy, and Thomas. So, there was one person who suggested that I review all three of these characters in one video. I just originally intended to make these three separate videos, but hey, I do take suggestions sometimes, so I'll make an exception here. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed this video, because these are really nice as always. Anyways, let's start with Thomas the Tank Engine himself. Now, Thomas the Tank Engine is my number one favorite character. There are a lot of reasons why I love Thomas. I mean, I think he's an E2, and I honestly prefer Thomas to be an E2 rather than a J50. And yes, for those of you who don't know, let me tell you a story about Thomas. So, when the Railway Series first came out, the very first illustrator we have ever gotten was... Reginald Payne, I think that's what his name was. I know you might correct me if I'm wrong, but anyways, Reginald Payne was the first ever character, ever person to actually draw these pictures for the Railway Series stories and make the characters. And he decided to make Thomas the Tank Engine in E2, which I do really love. And in those illustrations, he has the dip running board. He had a smoke box saddle at one point and he had one single cab window. Now for some reason those things did kind of change, like the Reverend Audrey decided to modify Thomas, so he raised the running board, he um, removed the saddle, and he gave Thomas an extra cab window. Now that I can give a pass just as long as Thomas looks like an E2. I prefer Thomas to be a E2, though I think Audrey was originally wanting Thomas to be a J50. But I still prefer Thomas to be an E2. I'm not sure what I would say if he was a J50 in the TV show. Anyways, this is supposed to actually replicate Bert Alcroft's model that she made for Thomas. And Thomas wasn't the first character created to really make this series a reality. It was actually Edward who was the first one. But I still think Thomas is quite enjoyable. Anyways... One of the things that I found kind of weird was that at one point, the Reverend Audrey did give Thomas a flat running board for the current Railway Series. But what I do like is that when Britt Allcroft made the story Thomas Comes to Breakfast, and at the end of Percy's predicament when he came back, Britt Allcroft kept Thomas how he is, and she didn't give him a flat running board. Now that is a lot better than the Railway Series version. Anyways... I really think that I really did a good job with Thomas here. Like, this has to be one of the best Thomases I've ever printed, and he looks so accurate. Like, I still think that these are as enjoyable as my three printed MLP characters. I haven't done a review on those yet, but I do hope to one day. Now, there is another weird thing that I seem to find about Thomas. That being, there are some characters who always get the fan favorite spotlight, but I don't know um, how people would say Thomas is. Like, I say that Thomas is my number one favorite character. Many people say that they like characters like Henry, Diesel 10, Oliver, James. Though I'm not sure if anyone said that Thomas was their favorite character. I think there might be some people who um, say that Thomas is one of their least favorite characters. Like, for example, I have one of the comments from my videos, and this guy said, No offense, Thomas always acted like a kid. He's the worst character in the franchise, along with James, in my opinion. And then one person said that Thomas is overrated. Now, those things kind of confuse me a little bit, but still, I really love Thomas the Tank Engine. Like, I just love him because he's the main character, and... I bet he can be relatable, since he does play tricks on other people and other engines. 
Though Thomas is not entirely immature, like, there are a couple episodes where he will do a good job and help his friends. Like, it's just a pretty good balance between both extremes he has. Like, sometimes Thomas is mischievous, sometimes Thomas is good-natured. Now, in the Sharon Miller era, Thomas the Tank Engine was blind and deaf, which I do really not like. Like, this is one of the stupidest things I've ever seen in Thomas and Friends, where Thomas does this stuff. Like... He will not take five freight cars at a time when he's pulling fish. Um, he leaves the tuba player behind. He splashes people with mud. And um, a few other things. Another thing is that he was quite good in Hero of the Rails, but he was kind of dumb in Misty Island Rescue. Still, I think it's cool that Andrew Burner gave Thomas his old personality back. Alright, I rambled long enough about Thomas. Let's look at Percy next. So, Percy is a really another good character for me. Like, Percy is actually a freelance saddle tank engine. This is, um, one of the things that I did not know about Percy. I saw this video made by a guy named Train Boy, who um, said, What is Percy? Like, Percy is actually a freelance saddle tank engine. Like, I don't think he's based off of any real life engine. He does barely represent a few trains. It's kind of like the case with Lady, how she's not based off of a real-life engine. But I do still think that Percy is really lovable. Like, Percy's Thomas's best friend. He's a very young engine. And he is kind of jolly. And he does pull the mail. Like, Percy's an interesting character. Like, and I'm actually quite glad that Percy's still a main character to this day. Like... In season 25, like, he's still Thomas's best friend. Which I do actually really love. Anyways, don't know if I could say much more about Percy, but... I still love Percy as a character. Like, Percy's really enjoyable. You do feel kind of bad for him in Sodor Fallout, and... A few other things. Anyways, I'm not sure how Percy was out of character in the Sharon Miller era, but... If you guys know how Percy was out of character in the Sharon Miller era, I think you should tell me in the comments. Since I barely don't know a lot about the Sharon Miller era, I just know that the Thomas characters are out of character. And the episode's really poorly written. Alright, last but not least, let's look at Toby the Tram Engine. Now, I don't know if Toby's ever going to appear in Season 25. But I think it would be cool if he did. Toby is another really good character, like, there are quite a few people who actually like Toby, like, Troublesome Junction does like Toby. Anyways, now, Toby never actually had these parts here to the magnets that connect here. I just took, cut this piece off with a drum tool and glued it on there, and then glued the magnet on there. But I still think that Toby looks really good, like, all of these characters look really flawless, and I'm quite happy. Like, Toby's face is really interesting. Like, he's a very old and tram engine. But, Toby was kind of a coward in the Sharon Miller era. That's another thing that I do not like about Toby. But, Andrew Burner gave Toby his old personality back, which I love. I just like Toby for his old personality, and the fact that they gave Henrietta, his coach, a face. Which I wish they could have done that in the model series, but I'm not complaining too much. Anyways. We will still care about Toby. I think Toby's a really nice character. Don't think I can say much more about Toby other than that he's just a really nice character. Alright, so that was Thomas, Percy, and Toby. Personally, as much as I like Diesel 10, Duck, and James, and a few other characters I've printed, I have to say these are really coming along really nicely. Like, I'm just, like, so impressed with all these trains here. Like, I say these are as good as, like, Zombrex 54's Gage 1 Thomas models. Actually, Zombrex 54 did comment on my video with Diesel 10, which I do love. I hope he's watching this video as well, and I think you should watch my three printed Duck and James review. 
anyways, thanks for watching. I hope you will stay tuned for all these other characters here. I hope you're looking forward to um, these engines here. Personally, I'm looking forward to them as well. Like, I'm just super excited to review these characters. I've got a few more three printed characters coming along the way. They're just not finished painted or they haven't been printed yet. So if you guys want to, which character are you looking forward to seeing the most? Tell me in the comments below and I might review them one day. So thanks for watching and stay tuned for more.